everyone, it is Jess with Jess is Blessed and I am so excited for today's video. Today's video is going to be cloth diapering for the cost of a box of disposable diapers or less. And this is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. It is a video that is super important to do. I feel so passionately about this because one in three families in the United States struggles with the costs related to diapering their baby. And most families don't even know that there's another way. I didn't know there was another way. When I did the flats and hand washing challenge a couple months ago, and for those of you that don't know what that is, it's basically where you use old school pieces of material like this and cloth diaper covers and you use a very limited supply of these for a week that's all you use on your baby and you hand wash them every day to show that families that don't have access to a washer and dryer can cloth diaper so you do that for a week well i did that and i will leave a link to that seven day series of videos down in the comments but that opened my eyes to so many different things number one being that there's all sorts of things that you can use for cloth diapering number two being that you don't don't need a huge stash of cloth diapers to cloth diaper your baby. A lot of cloth diaper companies sell cloth diaper kits, you know, beginner kits starting at like three, four hundred dollars. Even my own beginner cloth diaper kit video, which actually was also for newborn diapers as well, was like nine hundred dollars. And I totally realized that is not in the budget for everyone. A lot of people can't just fork over nine hundred dollars or even three or four hundred dollars to start. And families that are struggling to buy the next box of disposable cloth diapers definitely can't do that. And they can't buy one or two twenty dollar diapers and cloth diaper full time with that. I I get that. So that is why I'm making this video to show that you can cloth diaper for so, so, so cheap. And you can cloth diaper with items that you already have in your home. And if more people knew these tips and tricks, it could literally put the disposable diaper companies out of business. I'm also going to mention that there are a lot of cloth diaper companies and resources that offer to either give you or lend you cloth diapers to cloth diaper your baby. If you're really, really struggling, a lot of them I'll ask for like a government issued WIC card or some sort of proof that you, um, you know, need assistance, but they will provide you with diapers that you can either keep or use until your baby is like two or three years old, at which time you return them and then they sanitize and wash them and pass them on to a new family. Pretty much all the major companies have programs, but there's also smaller ones and there's also area specific ones. And I will leave a list of those on the screen and I'll also leave a list down in the comments. I hope that this video helps families that are really, really, really struggling in the interim while they're getting approved for those programs or need immediate solutions today. So with all of that said, there are a whole bunch of different things that you can either buy for super cheap or you can use that you already have around your home. Things that you can buy super, super cheap to cloth diaper. Flower sack towels, these are about a dollar a piece at Walmart or Target in the kitchen section. These are great. They are a big square piece of fabric like this. You can either fold it up around your baby. There's all sorts of different folds that you can do. You can Google cloth diaper flat folds and find a whole bunch of different ones that work for girls, boys, newborns. There's a whole bunch of different ones or you can literally just fold it up. You can fold it in half, in half again, and then in thirds like this. And then you can lay it in a cloth diaper cover. This is a happy flute cover. You can find these online for like $5.50 at fluffypenguin.com, also like Wish. Uh, a lot of different online stores. It's just a waterproof shell that has snaps on it that will keep it on your baby. It's also one size and so it can adjust in size from very small babies to very large babies. What you do then is just lay this inside your cloth diaper shell like this and then 
attach it onto your baby. So this is a cloth diaper for about $6. Then when the baby soils this inner insert, then you can take it out and as long as they haven't gotten any poop or anything on the cover, you can wipe it out and just lay in a new one. Super, super simple. So that is one solution. Another one is microfiber. You can buy microfiber rags or dish towels, however you wanna put it. So I found this one at Walmart in the auto section for $5 and there's 10 of them in here. And the only thing with microfiber is you don't want to put it directly against baby's skin because it's so absorbent it will actually pull moisture out of your baby's uh, skin and dry their skin out and it can cause rashes and stuff but there's a simple solution for that see so here it is so you can fold it into thirds and just fold it up in a flour sack towel that we already talked about so fold it into a flour sack towel. Now none of the microfiber is touching your baby and you have a super absorbent cloth diaper insert right here. So then lay this into your cloth diaper cover and this is really super absorbent. If you're on a really tight budget and you can't afford to diaper your baby, this is going to be a great solution. So you can get 10 flour sack towels and 10 microfiber cloths for about $13. And so this is going to give you 10 diaper changes. Now, I do wanna say too, that nothing in this video that I'm going to be showing you guys or telling you guys about is something that I have not actually used on one of my two babies in cloth diapers. So I'm not just giving you guys this information out of my imagination saying this could possibly work. These do work and I have used them on my babies so I just wanted that said so you'd have 10 diaper changes 10 diaper changes can last your baby pretty much one day you will probably have to do laundry every single day and if you're hand washing you can totally hand wash your cloth diapers in a bucket or camp style washer there is videos on my channel also i'll leave a link to one of those uh down in the comments that teaches you how to make a a bucket style washer that you can use right in your bathroom you can buy two buckets and a plunger for like nine dollars at walmart Again, I have done that. I've done that for extended periods of time. I've done that for over a month and it is doable. It takes less than half an hour out of your day and it is doable. So for a family that needs to do that, it is possible. Another cheap cloth diapering option is Ikea. If you guys have an Ikea around, you can use Ikea burp cloths as cloth diapers. Basically the exact same concept. You could fold them up in what's called a pad fold and put them into a cloth diaper cover. So those are some really cheap cloth diapering options for the inserts of your diapers. Now things that you might have around your house that you can use for cloth diapering. Receiving blankets. These can work in the exact same way that I just explained for the flower sack towels. You can also place one of the microfiber inserts inside of this as well to increase the absorbency. So if you have receiving blankets around your house, make sure they're 100% cotton, uh, but they work great and they're really soft against baby skin. And a lot of people have a whole bunch of these laying around their house. These can be used as cloth diapers. Another one, old t-shirts. This is one of my husband's old work t-shirts. Yes, it's stained, but it's clean and it will work. You can either fold it up just as it is without even cutting it. You can fold it up and use it as a cloth diaper or you can cut it. So just take the back and just cut the back off and then the front off in just big flat squares. See, these are ones that I have personally made. These I went to Goodwill and I bought a huge stack of t-shirts for $10. Huge stack of t-shirts. And again, just make sure that they are 100% cotton and you can cut them. They don't have to be the same size. They don't have to be perfectly square. All you're doing is either folding them to pin around your baby, uh, so they either need to be big enough for that or pad folding them to place in a cloth diaper cover 
Uh, if you're going to make them in squares and you'd like them to be able to be folded around your baby, the average size of a flat is 27 by 27 inches. So just kind of keep that in mind. But these are all flats that you can use totally free if you have them around your house. Another one is muslin swaddlers. These work amazing as cloth diapers. These ones tend to be a lot bigger, so these are really good for toddlers or heavy wetters. But again, if you have them around your house, you can totally use them as cloth diapers. I would recommend Googling flat folds and finding a fold that will work really well for your baby. But you can pad fold these as well and put them in a cloth diaper cover. It would just be a little bit on the bulky side, but totally doable. And another one, believe it or not, is a towel. And a lot of people, a lot of other videos that I have seen don't mention this, but old towels can totally work as a cloth diaper. You can cut them into squares, whatever size is easiest for you. You might get some fraying with them, but they will totally work. And if you can sew, you can sew up the edges and they will work really super super good so towels yeah. can totally work as cloth diapers again just pad fold them and place them in a cloth diaper cover now I'm going to move on to cloth diapers themselves <laughs> Now you can find really inexpensive cloth diapers or cloth diaper covers for new on several different websites. You can find them on Amazon, Fluffy Penguin. There's also some brands that are less expensive than others. However, most of those will run about 10 to $12 a piece. And so if you're trying to stay under the cost of a box of disposables, then you could probably only get like one or two of those in addition to the things that I have mentioned here. There's also really super cheap ones like Alva's or Happy Flute for cloth diaper covers that are about five, five fifty a piece. I've even found them for three dollars on Wish before and I've used both of them before as well. This right here is a Happy Flute. Works super, super good. That's if you're buying them brand new. What I would suggest is to go to the $1 cloth diaper auction group on Facebook. You can find new or used cloth diapers for incredibly cheap. And I'll put up some examples for you. These are real examples where cloth diapers sold for a dollar to $2 a piece. Super, super cheap. Now, if you buy used cloth diapers, you can strip them and they will be basically like brand new. The stripping process is a deep cleaning process followed by a bleach soak that will kill any and all bacteria or germs that might be on the diapers. So if you're worried or grossed out the ick factor of buying used diapers, there is a way around that and you can strip your cloth diapers. There are do-it-yourself home methods that you can Google and look up or you can buy brands like Grovia Mighty Bubbles and do a strip that way. I'd recommend if we're trying to stay on a budget here, the do-it-yourself ones. Just be really careful, make sure that you research a little bit, or ask me any questions that you might have. But that is a great place to find super, super, super cheap cloth diapers. There are other places online too. You can go to eBay, Craigslist, local garage sale groups, any of those and find super cheap lots of cloth diapers. I can't even count how many times locally I have found huge lots of cloth diapers for $20 because people are just done cloth diapering. They don't know what to do with them. They just want them out of their house and so they will sell them for super insane cheap prices. So if you keep your eyes open, stay patient, you can find really cheap cloth diapers that way. And then the other really cool way to cloth diaper your baby and this is going back into free. So these are items that you might have around your home to use as cloth diaper covers is old wool sweaters or you can buy them at thrift stores but an old wool sweater can be repurposed into a cloth diaper cover and i promise you it works you would think that babies would pee right out of wool but it works it truly truly does work to contain and just the way that wool is designed to keep a sheep totally dry 
it works the same way to keep baby's urine in and it totally works as a cloth diaper cover so if you have any sewing skills at all because that does require sewing skills then you can totally make cloth diaper covers from old wool sweaters or even wool blankets i will leave a link down in the comments about how to make those and then for those of us like myself that can't sew the super cool option is no sew diy fleece cloth diaper covers here's a couple that i've made my son and my daughter have worn these and once again you're probably thinking how in the world does pee not just go straight through these they work i don't understand exactly how other than the material that this is made out of just repels liquid i have had both of my babies wear these they do work I am planning on making a sister video for this video showing how to make these because they're super insane fast. And you can buy a blanket at Walmart. I bought this one at Walmart for two or three dollars and it's big enough to make. I already made one cover out of it. I could at least make two or three more covers out of it. And so that's cloth diaper covers costing literally about a dollar a piece or less. If you bought a blanket and made say three covers, that's a dollar a piece for your three covers. Then say you went and bought a 10 pack of flour sack towels for $7.88 and a 10 pack of microfiber towels for $4.99. You're looking at $16 for 10 inserts and three diaper covers. And then let's say you buy three cloth diaper covers for $5.50 a piece, that's $16.50. So you're looking at about like $32-ish to cloth diaper your baby. In addition, you can add any of these other free items that you have around your house to bulk up and have more inserts. Now this is not the most glamorous stash. With this, it's not going to be super beautiful, but it will be functional. Also, you can buy snappies on Wish for a dollar with two dollars for shipping. So they're just little guys like this. So it hooks on one side, then it hooks on the other side, and then it hooks on the bottom. This will keep this secure on your baby, and then you can put a cover over it. So if you're planning on using uh, the flats in this manner, then that's a really good place to get snappies. Also, you can find snappies really cheap on the cloth diaper buy sell trade groups all the time as well. And if you're new to cloth diaper buy sell trade groups, I also have a beginner video that explains the whole process. I will also leave a link to that down in the comments. There's gonna be a whole ton. Now, if you do buy any pocket diapers, they are going to come and look like this. They're going to have a soft lining in them and then they're going to have a pocket in the back and that is where you stuff the inserts into. So any of these inserts here that I have shown you, the flower sack towels, the t-shirt flats, the microfiber towels, any of them, you are, will just fold it into a pad fold like I showed you and then what you do is open up the pocket opening and then you just stuff it inside of there like this and then you're going to flatten it out a little bit and then you have a diaper now these ones are not reusable like the shells are that can be wiped out and you can place a new insert in these ones you have to change each time so they're not the best budget friendly option however you can find them for about five dollars for alvas and also if you find a really good lot of cheap diapers that happen to be pocket diapers I just wanted to let you guys know how to use those so that is how you would use the pocket cloth diapers so that is how to cloth diaper for the cost of a box of disposable diapers there's a whole bunch of different options I mean you can use any different variation of these materials or these items to make a cloth diaper stash but you can totally do it you can even do it for free if you have the right materials around your house let me know down in the comments if there's anything that you guys have used that i haven't used that's great for cloth diapering i would love to hear it because i'm always loving to expand my knowledge and and understanding of ways to budget cloth diaper 
Uh, also, I am going to have a sister video that is going to be five ways to cloth diaper super cheap or even free. So look for that. I'm going to try and get that one done tonight as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this video was life changing literally and helpful for a whole bunch of people and I will see you soon for the next cloth diapering video. Bye guys.